All right, so in this video, I'm gonna go over backgrounds in your logo, and there's a couple types of backgrounds. Um, there's the background of like this right here behind it, and then there's the background of the logo. And we're gonna go over the two types in this video. So there's two types of backgrounds that we could talk about here. There's the background in back of this lobster house and lobster, which would be these type of backgrounds that I'm gonna go over. And then there's the background of where you see the white right there. Anytime you see white here and you don't see anything that says background over here, then your files are gonna be transparent behind your logo. So for example, if you open up the PNG, you may see it has a gray or black or something behind it, and that's because it's transparent and it doesn't have a background behind the logo, which is a great thing. Because if you upload the file, for example, to a t-shirt, you don't want it to look like a box. You don't want it to have this weird background box. You want it to be a circle or whatever and not have a box. So that's really, really cool um, when you're trying to print things on t-shirts or put it on your website. You may not want it to look like a box. Um, there's other times that maybe you do want it to look like a box and you have these backgrounds. So let's get into the other type of background I am talking about here. And that's these backgrounds here that you could add. And it's just shapes. All I'm doing is adding like a square or something. So you'll see all these shapes and stuff in the layers. So I just added this square, for example, here. And it's behind this gorilla here. And if you resize this, you'll see it's just a square. And I just moved it behind this gorilla. And here's another shape right here, which is a black shape this one right here, and I just move that shape behind this gorilla as well. So you could add these shapes, and this is what I did right here. I added these circles here, and you could just go to here and add a circle behind this. So there are multiple ways of adding backgrounds to your logo, but what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna add a background and, a, and have, it, have it square. So for example, I'm gonna throw this in the back, and you don't want it to look like this or this or gray or anything like that. You want it to be have a transparent. So when you do put it on it, it's transparent. And that's what we do um, when you print these out. Sometimes you want to see what it looks like with a black background. And you could right click this blank area and go to black background and it will show you what it looks like. And this is just to show you what it would look like if it was on like a black t-shirt, for example but we're still gonna add a transparent background for you so that you don't run into the issue of putting this on a white t-shirt and it has a square on it, for example. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my layers and delete this just because I don't wanna show it anymore. But I hope this video gives you an idea of what you could do and how to add backgrounds to your logos. And also use the layer tools so you could position the backgrounds in different ways. So if I move this square up higher, it, that's gonna cover something else. So you wanna look at where the clip art is in relationship to the background and position it and just drag it and move it to where you need it to be. All right, that's it for this video. Let us know if you have any questions.